Okay. Now, it might look like the sun is setting, but that's just an <laughs> optical illusion. It is 10 o'clock on Monday morning. The and perfect time to drink wine, really. Absolutely. And Rick <laughs> Backus, tasty, Rick Backus has landed from America. He's in the Hunter Valley. Yeah. And the, it's a big tweet up. Uh, guys in America, guys in Hunter, all around Australia, all around the world, actually. They're all getting excited about Hunter wines this morning. And so are we. Uh, we can't be there in person. So we thought we'd send a special message from the Spitbucket crew. We've got uh, six bottles of wine, um, some sh Shiraz, mainly from 2009, from Pocolbin um, and from Broke and all over the Hunter Valley. The wineries involved De Julius, Pepper Tree, Scarborough, Andrew Thomas, and uh, Tulloch there, and we've got some broken wood semi on in the fridge. So um, we just wanted to really uh, give some of our thoughts on these wines and um, get involved with uh, the tweet up that's happening all over the world. Pretty good idea, eh? Excellent idea. I'll yeah. drink for that. Beautiful. Right, what have you got to start with? Well, I, I believe I've got the Pepper Tree. We've got the Pepper the Tree. Cocoon the Cocoon 2009. 2009. Now, this is a $45 bottle of wine, um, and I think it's really smart. I think it's spicy. I think it's got nice weight. Um, the fruit's really pure. It doesn't actually feel like a really classic Hunter Valley wine to me. I actually realised I'm drinking a completely different oh, wine to the one you guys have. I'm drinking this guy. Do you want to pronounce that for me? Delius. Delius. Delius? Whatever. Yeah. Tastes great. And um, what do you like about that one? Is it the... It is was it quite, quite intense? Because I had the pepper tree before and I found the pepper tree a little bit more intense than this one. A little bit kind of softer. And So this one's a little softer? This one's a little softer. Just to be and clear. And do you like yeah. that style? Or do you like a, like a bigger, richer wine? No, I really like this. This is really lovely. Cool. Really easy. Yeah. It, it's still got a little bit of in the back of my throat, which is good. Not a bad thing, a good thing, but definitely not as kind of gutsy. Okay. Which is my word. So, um, <laughs> as the pepperdry for me. Big anyway. vote for the slightly more medium bodied Dulius um, Shiraz 2009 yes. from Suzette. Yeah. Uh, we've got the pepperdry, haven't pepper we? Tree, yes, we do. What do you think of that? Well, you see, if I was actually drinking this blind, I think it's from the Barossa. It's got more of the fruit characteristics that you, you know, you'd expect from, mm -hmm. from the valley rather than from the Hunter. So, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, I don't, I don't Do mind. Do you think a Hunter Valley wine should taste like a Hunter Valley no, no, wine? Not always, no. And, and no. you know, it's, sometimes we get excited because it's, it tastes different. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, not, it's not expected from the Hunter region. So I, I like it, I don't mind it. And I think uh, with food, it will go great. Cool. Now, I know you hate when we pour any wine into the spit bucket undrunk, ooh, ooh. but we're going to have to do that this morning. Oh. This in morning, order to, in keeping In order to thing. share um, a little love around these bottles, <laughs> I want us all to try the ooh, yes, Scarborough I've 2007. Some good things about this already. Well, you did visit the Scarborough winery. We were there but a few days ago. Oh, really? Now you're just showing picking off. Up a, <laughs> picking up an early morning tan. Oh, of course you were. <laughs> while the camera sat nicely in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> so, straight away, less intense on the nose. Oh, of both, actually. Less intense. And I'm getting a slightly both. more, slightly vegetal, almost, like briary Ooh, kind of note. Not just like pure it. fruit, but Ooh. a little bit of something just slightly leafy there. Yeah, and, and you actually get that on the palate, because I just took a sip and, and you, you're mm. getting that. And It's definitely less kind of fruit. The tannins are also um, fine, and they're not really harsh. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I would imagine this. This is, imagine this, gorgeous. This is drinking yeah. beautifully oh now. Oh my goodness. You can really could have this at 10 o'clock in the morning. It'd be fine. So there's seven too, so. <laughs> The great, but this wine is, is cheating slightly. It's two years older than the oh, others, okay. so it's really settled into itself. It's really yeah. comfortable in its own yeah. skin, I reckon. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Really, really Beautiful. like that. This one is not getting too And it's out. classic medium bodied mm. hunter. It's got it that is. leathery kind of character as well. And a, a bit more towards the European style, I'd say, than, than a big yeah. fruity wine um, that I really love. So. When do you yeah. say it's classic hunter style? Well, uh, classic, yeah, you can tell us more about Well, that. Um, often the Hunter Shiraz, or classically, mm. is medium bodied. Ah, it's not massive. Yeah. And it's, it develops a really interesting leathery secondary characters. Um, like what something people say is um, like um, saddle, saddle kind of, yeah, sweaty leather. saddles, yeah, that yeah, kind of thing, which saddles, isn't for everyone. Better. Earthy, leathery. <laughs> but not like, like old the dirt sort of like thing. you get in some other Shirazes. No, no, they're not that kind of... No, no yeah. it's not dirty, it's just a kind of 
warm leathery warm, kind of. Okay, warm leather. Thank you. I'm channeling, <laughs> channeling like a warm leather couch. That's Is that it. where that's, we're going? That's, uh, that, that, having said that, slipped into a warm leather couch. You do get different style, as you saw in the pepper tree example. This fruity, rich. Same with Delia, so if we if we want to try this, Dan. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is this style. Yeah, this style is excellent. It's actually in between. I'd say okay. it will be in between earthy, leathery, plus oh. a bit of fruit as well. Oh, well so I think Mark Mark did a really well. good job with this one. Really good job. Mm. Um, so Mark, if you're watching this, well done on on <laughs> the nine. That's a big boat from Ellie there. <laughs> I think you made a good call there, Ellie. Um, you are getting uh, that slightly younger black fruit because it is a, a 2009 and it's got some fruit concentration there. But you can just see it's, it's, a, it's, like, it's a medium body wine. It's not, a big, it's it's not as big as the pepper tree. Um, and you're just getting just a little hint that of what's leather, to come. A bit of leather, a bit of earthiness, but you still mm. get the fruit, which I love. So. And you like that one as well, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Um, all right, let's try the Colburn Dry Red, the private bin. 2009 Ooh, from Tullock with a very funky old label. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if this is a special, it says oh, uh, it's a commemorative, commemorative release, release. Yeah. so it's a special right. historic label. Hmm. What are you getting on the nose? Berries. Berries and plums. Mm. plums. I was going to say, yes. very fruity, eh? Plums. More fruity than some of the others, actually. Like a bit of wind action well, here in the morning. Hold on to your, your glasses, everyone, and spit well. Mm. <laughs> so the, the tenants are really, really, really are there at the moment. Yeah. And it's an earn iron. So I reckon in, in about five to six years, the tenants will, will soften a bit. Yeah, I think that's a pretty um, good call. But again, in terms steak. of weight of fruit, it's not it's not massive. Again, no. I wouldn't mm. say it's up there in terms of the oak and the fruit as the, the pepper tree. Would it be safe in saying it's a bit tighter mm. than some of the other ones we've, been, we've tried? I think that's a good call. Mm. It is tight. Probably not ready to be drank. I wouldn't say it's a, it's a bad wine. It's actually, you can tell, it's got a lot of potential. Higher alcohol yeah, percentage. Absolutely. And the vegetables are there, characteristics are no, there. No, no. M most, most Hunter wines are not um, more than 14%, I don't think. Oh, yeah? The Shiraz, yeah. They're, they're pretty low in alcohol. Yeah. They're fruit friendly wines, so you can actually have it with food. Yeah. Um, it's meant to be had with food. It's very European style. Yeah. And that's why I love the Hunter style wines. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Moving on. We've got the Andrew Thomas Motel Block Shiraz 2009, which is a single vineyard so wine. Did you say Motel Block? Motel Block. I'm not okay. quite sure <laughs> the story behind that. But maybe when you meet Andrew Thomas, you understand why it's called Motel. Andrew, you're out there somewhere yeah. tweeting at the moment. Tell us why it's Motel Block Motel. Shiraz. Well, we, we, we did take a photo of, of um, Tomo with no pants on, so maybe that's why. Ooh. Really? Okay. Is this a story okay. that should be on camera? We've actually got it on Facebook, so yeah, no problem. Yeah. Right. Steady on. Um, maybe, we can, no maybe we can watching. link up to that Facebook page. I'm Make sure, sure everyone would love James to see James link that. up to it. Okay, Ooh, now. Fruit. Fruit. This is a big, this feels like a big wine. Big oh, have, you, have you had the Kiss Shiraz? Mm. You have. Yes, I have. I, I, that was my first trip to the Hunter. But the reason I fell in love with the Hunter was the whole story about the Kiss Shiraz and him and his father and the whole thing. Brilliant. I can't believe I know this and you don't. Never, yes. Never, never <laughs> so, what do you think of the Kiss Shiraz? I love it. It's amazing. Okay. I found, heard the story and then had to go like seek out a bottle because it was almost impossible to find. Yeah. Dennis, speaking of which. I mean, I'd, I'd, I've tasted this. I've stuck my nose in it. And the first thing that stands out to me is it seems really young mm -hmm. and it's got so long to go ahead of it. Um, the, the fruit is kind of a big black wall at the moment, lots of tannin. Um, there's a bit of chocolatey, vanilla oak there. Ooh, um, so I would, I would, I think this has got so much potential, but I literally wouldn't touch this for five years. Yeah. Is that, is that Probably unfair? more, probably more too. So if you guys, if you, if you like to sell out your wines, buy it and sell it, so. Okay, so jump into the Semillon. Let's have some Semillon. Okay. This seems backwards just by, by the way. Why? Yeah, um, no, but that's, maybe this is a classic way to taste wine. Across, you have at, at nine, five, ten o'clock in the morning. You have five big reds and then a nice, crisp, <laughs> refreshing semillon to wash your, in, wash your palate in, out. In your glass. We'll give it a little rinse, Suzette. <laughs> what, rinse it We, we won't, won't make you drink Portuguese rosé. Oh. You can start rinsing, it's okay. So, Dan, what do you think of uh, semillon, Hunter Valley semillon? Hunt Valley Semillon, everyone knows, one of the great wine styles of Australia. Um, and I wish more people drank it. 
Um, it is it is so unique. There's no one else in the world that Probably does. Um, oh, no, okay, Ellie. Okay, uh, there's nowhere else in the world that does um, semillon quite like the Hunter Valley. And um, why is that? Climate, soils. What's yeah, the? It's, it's it's a bit of our a distinct Australian winemaking. It's a, a combination of all those factors, but also um, the history and the winemaking and the families who really backed it as a grape. Um, and it, it has a fascinating character we talked about on the show a few weeks ago. It did. Um, that when it's very young, it's really crisp and lemony mm. and fresh mm. and perfect in when it's one year old. With seafood, if you seafood. remember. <laughs> and then it kind of goes to sleep for a few years. Yeah. And then it comes back alive, toasty and, and, and really complex and interesting yeah. after about five years of age. Um, no oak at all. It mm. just it's the, as a grape within the hunter. It does that itself, and in the brosser as well. It's so good this brosser. is young, and, and it does develop the characteristics of as if it was aged in a barrel because it's got that yeah. terciness, leaves kind yeah. of so, character, mm. yeastiness. Yeah, so, so this is a 2010 semi from uh, Brokenwood. Yep, which we did visit uh, last week, and we saw them crushing the grapes and doing all sort of things with their members, and it was pretty you got exciting. Messy. You got messy yeah. at Brokenwood. Maybe you? we can link the actual video as well. So it was pretty cool. Um, what do you think of it? Young, fresh, easy. I have to say, it's the Light. perfect thing to taste after five years. Yeah, I was just thinking that. It's almost like a cleansing ale. It, like. is, it is a beautifully <laughs> clean, refreshing wine. To our viewers in the States, to maybe, maybe, maybe the you can States? give them a really quick rundown with the, all the wines that we had. What about our viewers in Australia? As well, of <laughs> or course. Or any other part but, of you know, Most Australians <laughs> would have enjoyed the Hunter yeah. Shiraz or, or Hunter Simeon. Um, yeah. But you know, in the States, I've, I presume everyone would have heard of you know the the valley Barossa etc. Yeah. But not many would it's have true. heard about the hunter. So the hunter isn't quite as well known globally. Mm. Um, but really, this is an example. I think of um, we've got six wines, six different wineries, hundreds of years of history between some of them, and then some much um, newer uh, labels on the scene like Andrew Thomas, who's doing great innovative things. Uh, it's got history. It's got innovation. Uh, it's got classic varieties that it's done well for so long. The original great varieties in Australia, the Shiraz and the Semillon of the Hunter Valley. Um, we've got bigger, weightier wines made for aging. We've got a, 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 a three or four year old wine that's drinking absolutely perfectly now and is soft and, and just beautiful. So, and then you've got the Semillon, which um, I'd love it if people drank more Semillon, just like Riesling, another great white grape that we need to get behind. And um, it's just cr crisp and, and refreshing. So. Hunter Valley has a lot to offer uh, and only a couple of hours from Sydney as well. So when you're visiting Australia, um, definitely Contact Dan visit. for the full tourist guide. <laughs> Leave your details under the video and Ellie will, will personally, personally show for you up to the valley. No, 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 this week will, with Dan. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be at work. So I think we should wrap it up there. Yep. Um, I'd like to thank the wineries for, for sending us this wine oh, and allowing absolutely. us to be a part of um, the tweet up from afar. We've really enjoyed our morning yep. here. <laughs> and what about the guys behind us? Did you guys enjoy the wines you were having? Enjoyed the wines? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 We've got very happy yeah. people over I'm there as well. Around, really. uh, we've missed yeah. we're still on the <laughs> Sorry, road. sorry about that. <laughs> very happy people over there. So uh, we'll sign off here. Enjoy the rest of the tweet up, enjoy. everyone. Um, please ask these winemakers questions. Uh, interact with us. Leave us comments if, you, if there's anything you'd want to ask. Tweet um, at Spitbucket um, or at Upshiraz and ask us questions, we'll be uh, online as well. Yep. And, um, and at Suzette Mac yeah, NZ, no. don't, not don't so much, not quite yet. Oh, we're working on that. <laughs> and um, thanks to, to Trish and Rob and everyone at the Wine Communicators Great Australia work. for putting this fantastic event together. Mm -hmm. We're loving it. So um, from now on, uh, we'll say thank you very much. You, you, won't, you won't be spitting anymore. <laughs> this has been Spit Bucket, where we spit so that you don't have to. Cheers, guys.